Vertically mounting your GPU? Let's talk about it. So you probably just spent a lot of money on a brand new pixel pusher and you want to show it off in the best fashion. All of us want to show off the graphics card in all of its glory, provided you have a clear side panel. And of course, if you have RGB on your graphics card, you're gonna to wanna to show that off and that's where vertical mounting your GPU comes into play. It used to be just one standard way to install your graphics card horizontally, but now we have many different options. But the thing is, what's the difference between a horizontal and a vertically mounted graphics card? Let's find out. When installing the standard way, the top plate is on top, the cooling fan and the shroud are on the bottom, and it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it is tried and true. Let's start with the benefits of installing your graphics card horizontally. The number one thing with the horizontal orientation is that it's not gonna be smushed up against the glass, and you're gonna have the optimal airflow and cooling for the graphics card, keeping your temperatures what they should be at. And since we have that optimized better airflow, we're gonna be looking at optimized performance, whether you're keeping it standard, higher clock speeds, or overclocking. Keeping it horizontal also means that you don't need any additional hardware or cables. You just click it into the motherboard, screw it into the case, and you're good to go. And to be honest, that's probably fine for a lot of people. So now let's get into the goods of the video, vertical GPU mounting. Vertical GPU mounting can be looked at as a lavish aspect that you can offer your gaming PC. In this video, we're gonna be looking at two different cases, the Fractal Meshify C, which requires modification, and the MSI VLOX 100R, which does not require any modification to vertical mount, and it makes it so, so easy. I wish all case manufacturers would take notes from this MSI, so let's show you. So there's two things that we need to do when vertically mounting our GPU. You need to acquire a vertical mounting bracket. This holds the GPU and it allows you to screw the ribbon cable onto the bottom of it. Number two is gonna be a PCIe riser cable and this is gonna allow us to take that traditional PCIe slot on the motherboard and move it down to the bottom so we can plug it in there. Now you're gonna to wanna to be careful whether your motherboard supports PCIe 4.0 or PCIe 3.0. That's a topic for a whole nother video, but I will show you how to deal with that with either one that you have. So the Fractal Meshify C is one of those cases that you need to do some modification to. When you take out the PCIe covers, there's a support bracket that goes across. So when you vertically mount it with the vertical mounting bracket, the supports get in the way and you can't actually plug in your display port or your HDMI cables. So what I did here is I took a little tin snips and I cut it just enough so that the cables can get plugged in. Now this is where MSI's VLOX 100R case really shines. Not only does it come with the bracket whether you want to utilize it or not, when you take out the PCIe covers there's no support bracket and there's no modification needed. You just slide this in, screw it in, and you're good to go. And I just really love that. I don't expect that to be a feature on you know budget cases, but these higher end $100 plus cases that would be so nice to see as a standard thing. So let's go over the installation process real quick. First off in the Fractal Mesh if I see. The first thing you want to do is take out all the PCIe covers. For this installation, I'm using the Fantex bracket and the riser cable. Once the covers are out, we can insert the bracket and screw it in. And for added support, we have these little cushions that go into the bottom. That way the GPU's weight doesn't make it sag. Next, we're gonna wanna plug the top of the PCIe riser cable into the PCIe X16 slot of the motherboard. And on the bottom of the vertical bracket, you can see there's two standoffs where we need to secure the actual bottom part of the PCIe cable. Once that's done, it's as easy as installing the graphics card screwing it down on top for added security. One thing you'll notice that you don't have to worry about GPU sag. A vertical mount has no GPU sag for the most part and a horizontal, if it's a beefcake, you're definitely gonna have to deal with that. Let's plug in our two cables and you're ready to go. Let's switch over to the VLOX 100R. Same thing, take off all the PCIe covers. You'll notice it's completely open, no modification needed. We're gonna take our included MSI bracket install it in there, and we have two screws to connect it to the case. It comes with the bracket, but not the cable, so we went with an Asia Horse riser cable for this build. So from here on out, the process remains the same. Connect the PCIe riser cable into the motherboard, route it down to the bottom of the vertical bracket, secure it with the two screws into the standoffs, snap in your graphics card, and screw it in on top, and you're good to go.
after all this, to put it simply, vertically mounting your GPU is just for appeal and aesthetics of your build. But now that I've done a few, I can't go back as long as the case allows me to and it's not too close to the glass, impeding the airflow, which would really just decrease performance and it doesn't become worth it at that point. So if you really want to show off your PC build and that graphics card you fought off those scalpers for that cost you a ton of money, I think vertically GPU mounting is the way to go. And if you do it, I would love to see your builds. You can check me out on Instagram here and tag me. I would love to come check it out. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and a comment. I would appreciate that. Let me know what you think of vertical versus horizontal GPU mounting. See you in the next one.